In the meandering conversations of Tanke Spell with Helena Roth, I riff a lot about Mellanrumme, the in-between, the space in-between. And this is what I'm welcoming you to right here. I have decided to put a little bit of a pause before starting season four of those meandering conversations. But in the meantime, I didn't want you to go without anything in this feed. So here is me reading a blog post of mine. This blog post and a lot of other blog posts you can find over on tankespian.com. Enjoy. Slowing down to the speed of life a blog post first published on November 19, 2020, on my blog. It reads like this. I turn off Spotify. The pipes leading to the heaters gargle a bit, and a car drives by on the residential road outside. And there's another one farther away, on one of the larger streets a block or two away. My 16-year-old son, Benjamin, sent me shouts, hey, 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 upstairs, ensconced in his room, involved in a Valorant online tournament with some friends, online friends. Car? Another car? And this ringing noise, slightly whining, is it but a figment of my imagination? Or perhaps the residue of noise from just before? ruffling the sensory hairs in my ear canals, generating a high-pitched, yet more grass rustling in the wind-like noise. I hear myself breathing out, breathing out again, and then there, an even softer exhalation. Benjamin scrapes his chair against the floor, which just so happens to be my ceiling as he's upstairs and I'm downstairs. He laughs and yammers away as I raise my head, looking out the window right in front of me, a head movement accompanied by a crack in my neck. Psst. Another car on the street just outside the other window, the one to my right. I'm sitting at the dining room table, the only table around, the kitchen being too small for a kitchen table. Looking up again, another crack, softer, more of a crick. I inhale long and deep, exhaling even longer. In October of 2015, I went for a walk in the recreational park just across the street. It was a walk that etched itself deeply into my memory, as, for the first time, I saw. I was more fully present to the beauty surrounding us, surrounding me, than I'd ever been before. Quote, I don't think I've ever experienced the beauty of fall as I am this year. And I don't think fall has gotten more beautiful. I think the change is in me. I've never been so aware, never taken the time to look, to see the colors, the contrast, the smell, the vibrancy. End quote. Looking up once more, and yes, you know it, another crack like an undulating wave, this paying attention and noticing. Now and again, I'm at the peak of the undulation, totally present, attentive, noticing. Now and again, I'm at the very bottom, lost to the world, nowhere close to the here and now. Most of the time, in movement along those undulations, headed towards attentiveness or towards not presenceness. That's a habit of mine. I make up words. Sometimes really good ones. Not sure this one qualifies, though. I started to slow down to the speed of life in 2013, perhaps even more so in 2014, and have kept on with that practice ever since. And I see now, as I sit here, that ringing tone still present within me. Starting to believe it's not within me, after all, but something you might also hear if you were here. It's 
sitting opposite me at the table. But me slowing down simultaneously made me level up in the art of noticing and paying attention. Within, as well as without, and I love it. But without a doubt, there's a lot more attention and noticing powers within me. So I'm upping the ante, willing myself to play around with this for the next few days, and hopefully forever and ever. <laughs>